Hello! The second update in the November 2021 release has to do with the personalization of courses. Now, before uh, the November release, anytime an instructor wanted to personalize a course, they could add a thumbnail to the card view or tile view uh, within the courses page from the base navigation. Now, this banner or image that has been uploaded is now something that will also now display inside of the course. So as I click onto my personal finance course, you'll see that the banner now displays up here at the top. Now, with that said, instructors do not have to make use of the banner, um, even if they want to have one for the course thumbnail. And so up in the top right corner, they can always click on the little pencil icon and then remove the toggle here on whether or not they want to have this image displayed within their course. So when we toggle that, will actually provide more screen real estate um, that brings you uh, right into the course content. Um, in the old layout before course banners, um, there's a lot of what I would say is wasted space up here at the top. And so now you've got a lot more con uh, ability to quickly see the content. And we've also moved over some information on the left-hand side for course faculty. So you can see Kelly Hutchinson and her role. That's the instructor in this course. And as we were to scroll down, if there was a course schedule, this course schedule has also been migrated over here to the left-hand side. So both of those items were at the top um, in its own little banner area, but now they have been migrated over to the left-hand side. And if we want to control our banner at the top of the course, we can do that under the Details and Actions menu. Over here on the left-hand side, it says Edit Display Settings for Course Image. As we click on that, it brings it open the Peak Panel. We'll be able to see an image here if there's already one added. If there's not an image that has been added, then we can easily upload one using the option here. Now, it does say that you should aim to have an uh, image that is 1200 by 240 pixels uh, as far as the dimensions. And you can go to a website called canva.com uh, to create custom images if you, uh, <clears throat> if you haven't done that before or, or have any images uh, readily available. But uh, once that image has been uploaded, simply a ma um, option, matter of just toggling the, uh, the button up here at the top, hitting save, and then we will see that the banner is now uh, available. So just a great way to personalize courses, add a little bit um, <clears throat> uh, visual aids to the, to the overall course. And one more uh, item to point out is if um, if you don't want to access that through the course, you can also do it here on the thumbnail or tile. Click the little ellipses and then click edit course image and then it'll bring out that same peak panel. And so that is how you would update the course banner inside of your course.